Alright, this is what I'm calling the rest of the story number two. Basically, this is not an explanation of the rest of the story. This is um, kind of a twist or a turn on it toward people that are already... A, you kind of need to already watch my first video on the rest of the story so that you completely understand this diagram right here, which I am not going to explain right now because I don't have enough time to get in the points I need to get in and to get in uh, the explanation of this diagram. So if you have not seen uh, the rest of the story number one, cut this off right now and go watch that first and then come back to this. This uh, rest of the story number two is to explain to people that are familiar with passive income, people that are involved in passive income, why it is so important to do this linear concept of the baby steps. If you do not do this linear concept of the baby steps and you're making a six-figure income with passive income and life is great and you haven't got a and you don't have an emergency fund in place and you're way leveraged in debt and you don't have six months worth of living expenses and you hadn't started some kind of retirement account and you hadn't paid for education, you hadn't paid off your house, you hadn't done some stable wealth building outside of your passive income, i.e. paid for real estate, uh, especially if your passive income's like some form of network marketing or the stock market, then it's not necessarily stable um, passive income. So it's very imperative, especially if you're doing really good. You know, everything is ebb and flow. So if you're doing really good now, five years from now, you may not be, you may be, but you may not be doing as well as you are right now. So you need to take advantage of it. Instead of living high on the hog, you need to come over here and fill in all of these steps. And by the time you get to baby step number seven, all this did was a vehicle that sped it up and got it going really fast for you. And so you arrived really quick. Also, if you're a prepper, then that's got a place in there also. But my main emphasis is to talk to those who are uh, dealing with passive income and who have not put in place the baby steps with it. So that's what uh, the rest of the story number two is about. And so now you know the rest of the story.